It's time. It's, it's time. time. It's time. For what? For the Curious Giraffe Show. Sit back and relax, so oh. we'll sing, chat, and laugh oh, on the Curious Giraffe Show. Welcome back. We have a, a crew for the new season, and Doné has volunteered to use Jeanette Giraffe to introduce everybody. Okay, what's your name? Doné. Everybody say hi, Doné. Hi, Doné. Okay. What's your name? Milo. Hi, hi Milo. Milo. What's your name? Emily. Hi, hi Emily. Emily. <coughs> what's your name? Lauren. Hi, hi Lauren. Lauren. What's your name? Megan. Hi, hi Megan. Megan. What's your name? My name's Dorothy. Hi, Hi, Dorothy. Hi. And I will take Jeanette now and just remind, let's do a reminder for those who haven't seen the show or haven't seen it in a long time. So, my name's Jeanette. Say, Hi, Hi Jeanette. Jeanette. And his name's George. Hi, Hi George. George. George is very quiet, but he likes to be part of things. He watches with his eyes and ears, and he has a long neck that he can see far and wonder about many things. I talk a lot. I have sometimes trouble stopping talking so I can learn more, but I have big ears and eyes, and we're both friends, even though we're different. It's fun to have different friends, isn't it? Yeah. So I like this show because I get to meet kids from all over the, the valley that you, none of you live where I live, but I get to know you. So, we have a theme song for the Curious Giraffe Show, and we're going to teach it now. And let's practice the sign language one more time. The chorus is, is, goes, share one big sky. So you make your hand like a table, some for others, some for yourself. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five, yeah. We're different and we know it, but we still get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. All right, would anyone like to have Jeanette sing a little bit? We'll, we'll take turns. Thank you, Donay, you got to do the introductions. Megan, you'll help her sing the song. And here we go. So you have the eagle, Donay, you help him fly. Giraffe looked over an eagle and said, Why was I born to walk? Why were you born to fly? Eagle just shrugged and gave a high five. Hey, we all share one big sky. Oh, yeah. Share one big sky. Share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know we're fun. We're different, but we all belong. Very nice. You did a good job. Here's the new verse. Giraffe looked over at the animals and said, I think we're all so awesome. Every kind is so unique. The animals agreed with a bark and purr and squeak. And we all share one big sky. Oh, yeah. Share one big sky. Share one big sky. Big high five, yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along, cause we can all share, and we can all care, we're different but we all belong. Nice singing, welcome back. So today's show is about awesome animals. Now, do what animals do you think are awesome? Doné? Rhinos. Rhinos. Why do you think rhinos are awesome? Because they have big horns. They they do. That's very unique. And Milo? Um, well, I don't really know which animal because um like there's so so many different animals. It's hard to pick. I understand that answer. Some of you had ideas. Lauren? 
Koalas. Koalas. And why do you think they're awesome? Because they're so cute. Yeah, a lot of people really love koalas. Megan? Horses because they run fast. And you like how they run? I got horses. You, and you have horses. Aren't you lucky? And Emily, you didn't have a special idea? Not okay, yet. not yet. All right. So, does anybody think a pig is awesome? <laughs> what do you... That's not one people usually name. Usually people will name really cute animals or fast animals, um, but not usually pigs. But I read in the newspaper about an awesome pig that was so brave that it jumped out of a truck. And the people were so impressed that it was so brave that they said, we will take care of you and you can live forever on our farm. So that's what this story song is about. Tra-la-la, I'm Freeway, the high-flying pig. And Milo is going to use our stuffed piggy bank to be Freeway, the high-flying pig on this next song. Okay, so let's sing out. He's a happy pig, right? Because he sings tra-la-la. Tra-la-la, I'm Freeway, the high-flying pig. We were off to the market, but I did a quick jig. With the flip of my fanny, I flapped over the side, and I found myself free in the wide world outside. And here's the story part. The day started out sunny, it started out well, was like any other. They pulled up a truck and they packed us all in. I yelled, yikes, we're all stuck. And I'm going to keep going. My heart started pounding. I looked all around. We were shoulder to shoulder in a big bumpy mound. My fear gave me courage to not follow the crowd. So I leapt off that truck, landing, ouch. Upside down. Can you make him upside? Yes, but pick himself up. Tra la la, I'm freeway, the high flying pig. We were off to the market, but I did a quick jig. With the flip of my fanny, I flapped over the side, and I found myself free. myself over for bruises and bumps cause a pig can get hurt making high flying jumps but I'd been well protected by all of my fat so I stood up and brushed off fancy free just like that now I've been adopted by a great big pig farm I eat well and sleep well and show off my charm. So, if you're ever stuck where you don't want to be, just speak up and leap up and get yourself free. Tra la la, I'm freeway, the high flying pig. We were off to the market, but I did a quick kick. With the flip of my fanny, I flopped over the side, and I found myself free in the wide world outside. Wasn't that an awesome story? And it's true. Very cool. So, Emily, I'm going to ask you to open George's facts pocket because. Even though most people don't think about pigs being awesome, I did some research and found out some awesome information. Can you open it and read some of it in a loud, clear voice? How much of it? Well, you decide. Go along. Read as much as you want in a loud, clear voice. Groups of pigs are called swine, herd, dove, 
drove, mob, or sounder of pigs or hogs. Hmm. Male pigs are called boars. The females are the females are called sows. Or sows. Um, oh, that's a tricky word. Sows. And the young pigs are called piglets. Mm-hmm. Pigs are intelligent animals and can be easily trained, much better than dogs. <laughs> a piglet can respond to a name in two weeks' time. Pigs have an excellent se sense of smell with which they can detect food that is buried underground at a depth of five feet. Okay, wait. I want you to see how deep five feet is. I'm about five feet three inches, so about from my nose to this platform... That's how deep a pig can smell food under there. Isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Um, contrary to, to the very popular belief, pigs are cleaner than most animals. Pigs are excellent swimmers. Pigs have four toes on each foot, but walk using only the middle two. How about that? Everybody, hold up just your four fingers and put them together like they're your foot. And now, can you just put down two? And that's how pigs walk on their two, even though they have four toes. Very interesting fact. Another awesome fact. Yeah. Go ahead. A sow can give birth to a, to a litter that usually contains seven to twelve piglets. The largest little litter recorded is one. No, the is. Let me see that. I think that's Recorded a surprise. Is one. I think that might be the smallest. Let me see. The largest. Oh, they put a comma in a funny place. Okay, I'm gonna. The largest litter recorded is only once did this ever happen, which contained 37 piglets. One mother had 37 piglets. Okay, and now you can read the last fact right there. The largest pig in record in recorded history was a Poland China hog named Big Bill who weighed an astounding 2,552 pounds and was five <laughs> feet tall and nine feet long. That is one awesome pig. And you are one awesome reader. Thank you. I was just going to let you rest after a while, but you did fine. All right, well, I want to to show you what's in our mystery box next. Because while I'm going to tell you and sing to you about two special animals in my life, but while I'm doing that, I thought you, if you want to, could be making out of clay. It can be an imaginary animal or real animal. So you just make your own awesome animal um, if you like to. Does everybody like to work with clay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you like to, Milo? You don't have to. It's a choice. I do. You do. Okay. And I'm going to move these out so that... It's squishy. It's sort of squishy and some... Most people like it, but not everyone. So I respect that. People have different preferences. Okay. So I've made you each a little ball of clay. I'm going to, and you can start shaving it your own way, or I'll give you a quick little demonstration of how I start to make an animal with clay. There you go. And I would like you to, after, you can hold it in your hand to shape it, but then keep it on your tray when it's finished, okay? There you go. All right. So you, you, my idea is that I am thinking of an animal with legs. My animal's going to have four legs, so I'm going to pinch. One, two. Some animals might have only two legs or no legs. Or eight legs. Or eight legs. Spiders. It's up to you. Or spiders. Okay, so my animal is going to have four legs, and it definitely needs a head, so I'm going to 
squeeze a really kind of big part for the head. Can you see my animal starting to take shape? Yeah. Okay, and my animal is going to have a tail. So pull, pull out a little bit there. And a little ear. A little face. So I'm going to go ahead and sing to you about some animals. Is that a cat? It's either a cat or a dog, but I think it'll be a cat this time. I'm going to sing my song about Bardsley the cat. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know those. I know <laughs> two of the cats. Okay, so you all can work on your I know, I I your I animals. Know. You can I go ahead and make one if you want. Like I said, it's a choice. And how do you make a pig? Yeah, sure. How, how do you make a pig? I don't know how. You'll have to make it your way, I think. Let's see. Here's Bardsley, the song. And there's a line that you get to sing every time, and it says, And we loved him. Can you say that? And, and we, we loved, loved him. him. Just, just like that. that. So put it together. And, and we, we loved, loved him. him just, just like, like that. that. Right. So you'll catch on to that. I'll I, sing this. I actually knew. And if you know this, you can sing it along. All right. I'd be happy for you, too. Bardsley was a funny cat When we met he was so fat Like a milk jug when he sat One pudgy Bardsley cat And we loved him And we loved him just like that I had trouble because I forgot to write the chorus Here we go Bardsley loved his daily food Put him in a real good mood. What a cheerful attitude. And we loved him just like that. And we loved him just like that. Barsley loved his small red tent. Often that is where he went. Curled inside he was content. Our cozy Barsley cat. And we loved him just like that. Bardsley was a cuddly cat, seemed to know when you were sad. Then he'd climb into your lap, our caring Bardsley cat. And we loved him just like that. Nice. With his sister Mary Claire, what a happy loving care. Like meerkats, they would appear, a good brother Bardsley cat. And we loved him just like that. Bardsley died, we miss him so, but we want you all to know. In our hearts, we feel a glow for our friendly Bardsley cat. And we loved him just like that. So sometimes when I have a something really special or someone really special, I write a song about them to remember them. And I knew them a lot. You remember them? Good. Megan is my granddaughter, and so she did know Bardsley when he was alive. And, and Mary Claire. Somebody, and Mary Claire, his sister. Now, someone, I write songs to remember special things, and other people do art. Like maybe they would make a clay animal, and look what somebody <coughs> made for us. Oh, I remember this picture. And his name is Bruce Ackerson. Painted these pictures. Bardsley is the one in the back. His sister Mary Claire is in the front. I Isn't that a nice way to remember I've, special animals? I remember um, keep seeing that in your house. Yes. Like it. So, Doné, are you ready to share yours? What? Tell us about your animal. I made an elephant. An elephant. What a fun idea. That is awesome. And I made big legs for him, but I forgot the tail. 
Well, you have you can keep working if you want to, but a tail on an elephant is it? What size is that? A really tiny. It's very thin, isn't it? It's tricky. Milo, are you ready to tell us about yours? Um. Uh, I just um made a turtle. That's what I thought. I think that really does look like a turtle. Is your turtle the kind that likes to live in the ocean or on the land? Um, my turtle is the kind that likes to go in ponds. In ponds, yes, absolutely. Yeah, because um, I just copied her animal. Oh, oh, she was thinking that way too. You saw her idea and you liked it so much. That's a compliment when somebody imitates. Very nice. It's the way we learn from each other too. Absolutely. Yeah. Emily, are you ready to tell us what you're uh, working on? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, you can. You have a little more time. Lauren, what are you working on? A horse. A horse. You liked Megan's idea about a horse and you're doing an awesome job. Legs and a tail and a nice horse head and neck. Big, strong neck like horses have. And Megan, tell us about yours. I made a turtle because um, I had a snapping turtle. You had a snapping turtle. That's right. But That's right. It's gone because it climbed out of its tank. It climbed out of its tank. Yeah. So a few, for a few days, it, we had a live snapping turtle crawling around in our house. And did you ever find it? No. No. So maybe it found its way outside. Yeah, but luckily it was just a baby, so it couldn't snap. Right. Right. Okay. Very interesting. Does anybody else want to tell me about <coughs> animals that you had at your home or that a friend might have had? Okay, let's take turns. Lauren, tell us. We had two cats, and uh -huh. we had to get rid of them, and then we got hermit crabs. Okay. But... Mommy thought we weren't taking care of them at mm -hmm. all, so we mm -hmm. got rid of them. They take a lot of care. Any kind of animal that you decide, I'm learning that too because we just got a puppy and it Jackson. takes a lot of work. J Jackson yeah. especially. Yeah, his name is Jackson. Okay, Jackson. Megan, quickly tell us. Um, I've had many, many cats. Many cats? And a dog that you guys love. Uh, she has a dog named Dookie that we do definitely love. Okay, um, Donate. I had two cats. We had we had, th we had three cats, but two of them, you know what, died. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's the thing about animals that we are our pets. Usually, they they don't live as long as we do. Yes, go ahead. Um. Wow. Um. I have a cat, and his name is Taco. Taco, I love that yeah. name. Yeah. And tonight, um, tonight, um, I, um, my, my detective mission is to, is to, is to find out where he goes at night time. I want to know. When you find out, please tell me next time. Okay. All right. I, I am very interested in your detective mission. All right, Donay, I'm going to ask you to sit back a little so you and Milo can both be seen. And I think that we will go to this fun song that includes all sorts of different kinds of animals. Those of you who are finished with your artwork can do the hand motions with me, and those of you that are still working can keep working. But I hope you'll join in the song, Over in the Meadow in the Sand and the Sun Lived an Old Mother Turtle. And her little turtle won. There we go. Okay, so it goes like this. Over in the meadow, in the sand and the sun, lived an old mother turtle and her little turtle won. Dig, said the mother, I dig, said the one. So they dug all day in the sand and the sun. Do, do, did em, did em, what em, choo. Do, do, did em, did em, what em, choo. And they dug all day in the sand and the sun. Over in the meadow where the stream runs blue lived an old mother fish and her little fishies too. 
Swim, said the mother, we swim, said the two, and they swam all day where the stream runs blue. Do, do, did em, did em, wad em, choo! Do, do, did em, did em, wad em, choo! Do, do, did em, did em, wad em, choo! And they swam all day where the stream runs blue. Over in the meadow, in a hole in a tree, lived an old mother owl and her little owlets three. Hoot, said the mother, we hoot, said the three, and they hooted all day in their hole in the tree. Doot, doot, did em, did em, wad em, choo! Doot, doot, did em, did em, wad em, choo! Doot, doot, did em, did em, wad em, choo! And they hoot it all day in their hole in the tree. Yeah. So we're going to stop at that point. But I hope you will, as you go back into your world, notice the awesome animals. Some of them are in the sky, some are in the trees, and some are on the ground, or even in the water. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.